There you go. Austin, we're going to be late if you don't Crazy. hurry, Austin. <laughs> oh, no, and he lost his shoe. Today, we're at the Edge Training Academy, where we brought our intern, who didn't know what he was getting himself into. You ready to stop? Sorry, we can stop, Austin. Right. You're a quitter, Austin. <laughs> You're a quitter. Here we've got something for just about everybody, from kids through adults, and uh, happy to show you around today. Yeah, of course. And the second you walk in, you guys have done some renovations. First thing you'll notice is we have shifted to a 24-7 access with the gym. Uh, so it's all a phone-based app where people can let themselves in after staff leaves uh, late at night. As you see, he's getting a temperature check here with our newly renovated uh, reception area. This all gets closed down after hours. Other adapt or adaptation we've made was outfitting during our shutdown an entire wing here for uh, our recovery company called Mobile Performance Therapy. So she specializes in massage and, re and recovery. I think maybe we should check on Austin, right? We should check on we Austin. We gotta go through these doors because the first time you go through these doors, it's pretty amazing. So tell us a little bit about what you do here. You coordinate training for one-on-one -on -one teams, what else? So we do general population. So that person who's just kind of new to fitness, trying to get up and moving and their health started. Um, so we do that to, you know, your college professional athlete. Right, mm -hmm. so I was, I was the first thing that you mentioned. Yep. Yeah. But, but Austin here is actually going to the military. So we yeah. can put him through a little bit more. Super excited. He's fully capable of doing anything. So he's going to be put through a ringer today. So anything. Anything. He, so I can up the game. If... Oh, absolutely. All right, let's do it. Yeah, you just let me know. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no contracts, uh, no enrollment fees. Basically come and go. Uh, you can, con you can uh, cancel at any time. We like that model. It just feels a little, a little less sticky for people. Um, you know, if people are going to move away or anything, that's an easy, obvious. But even if you know, just it's not, you know, not your thing right now. You know, we don't we don't want to try to keep people bound to something that they don't want. What's your favorite thing about the training academy? Um, honestly, the the community. I mean, since I've been here, I, I've interacted with uh, the tens of different people. I mean, every single time I come in here, I meet someone new. Um, I, I'm allowed to be myself in here. You know, th there's no like regulations. Nobody stopping me from what I'm doing. How you doing, Austin? Doing great, Bruce. He always seems to have the same answer. He's doing yeah, great, yeah, he's so. doing, yeah, he's, until we drive home. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about the training academy? My favorite thing is just that I feel like I'm included here. There's a lot of space for women to lift, whereas a lot of other gyms, it's all males. You're afraid to go to the squat racks. There's only like one or two. Here, there's so many options, and I don't feel like people are judging me, and I can, I feel like I've gotten stronger since I started coming here, for sure. So okay. you were just going to do a pull-up. Yeah. But you had a better idea. Right, a burpee to a pull-up. Cake. Yeah. Oh, totally. I did you like five this. this morning. You're earning it, Austin. Uh -huh. You're gonna have a B plus in this internship, Austin. <laughs> That's all you're gonna give him is a B plus? Well, if he you know does better. Oh. Okay. He's still so, so, room for improvement. Ah, uh, understandable. So this is my first day here. Uh, got recommended by my brother. Uh, Bobby Woolley was a football coach of mine my freshman and sophomore year. So uh, keeping it kind of local, local businesses, local family. I know people in here. There's a huge variety between a full basketball court, open weights. Uh, we can finally use chalk. Can't use chalk in any other gym around here. So uh, yeah, just a good environment to be in and uh, happy to be here. This yeah. was like my favorite thing in high school to do. <laughs> was it? Yeah, for real. Could you make it all the way up? Oh yeah, definitely. In high oh, school. Of course. Now, I mean, I could go higher. Of course. <laughs> I can't leave without talking about the wall. Yeah. So tell us about the wall behind us. Just since 2013, seven years, it's just basically our body of work. Um, Starting as a, a small athlete training academy in a local hometown for myself, all I aimed to do was really open some opportunities for the kids that, for my generation, we didn't have as much opportunity here. So to recognize the athletes for what they were able to do, promote them and kind of catapult them in the direction that they wish to go, seven years later with a COVID shutdown, we take time and Put the uh, put the logos on the wall of all the different colleges that we've sent kids to. So have you seen cool. someone come back and go, "Oh, look, that's my college." At yes, U7 we have. Too. Yes, that's we so have. Cool. And I'll tell you what, those moments because uh, they don't know about it, so they walk in, they see it, and it's like, "Well, that's because of me." And they they're very happy to see it, and we're happy to see them uh, excited about it. So we told you we were going to take it easy on you. We lied. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel? I feel good. Yeah. Yeah. You like it here? Definitely. It's a great gym. 